Hey friends, Chubby Meeple coming to you live from Origins 2022. I am here with Chelsea from Weird Giraffe Games. We're just here chatting a little bit about uh, the games they've got here at the show, some things they may have upcoming. Who knows? We're just going to have a conversation here and let you know where they can be found and what they're showing off here. So thanks for uh, having you know sh- carving out some time to chat a little bit. Thank you for thinking of us. So we're Absolutely. very happy to uh, participate and show off our, you know, our games and what we have coming up and what we're showcasing here in Origins. Awesome. So what would you like to talk about today? Can some titles you'd like to highlight and have people stop by and check out? So the very first one I would say is Gift of Tulips. It's currently fulfilling for Kickstarter backers. Oh, nice. And some people got them as like last last week. Oh wow. So they're um, it's the first time we're selling it. It retails for twenty dollars. It is a game about gifting. If you do not give tulips to your friends and your fellow players, you will not win. The more you gift, the more points you'll get. So, and it scales very well. It's two to six players, about 20 minutes. But based on the player count, it's the amount of cards you take out or add. And then the scoring shifts a little bit based on the player count. So you can play with two and it's going to be a different experience if you play with six. Oh, nice. And it's not a party game. It's a quick card game. You can take it anywhere. It's a deck of cards. And then my favorite part is each player tracks their own score on a little card in front of them. And everybody gets an individualized meeple. We have a cow. We have clogs. <laughs> we have a windmill, a tulip, a teapot, and a bike. Oh, that's so cool. everybody has like their individual different meeple. That's And then cool. the art is just beautiful. Um, it's, it's just a good feeling joyous game yeah so we are having it here um so please stop by and look at it it's it's what we um it's a brand new thing our yeah. newest game and with that just now fulfilling the kickstarter backers yeah. are there copies available here yep, at the do. convention yep. awesome fantastic and it's supposed to hit retail in about three weeks nice so um if, even if you can't make it this weekend to origins we'll have it you know in retail store soon very cool now i know one of the things that they've fulfilled uh no fairly recently but uh you know not too distant in the past uh big easy busking um kind of that new orleans street musician uh this i I love the look and feel of this game the the artwork it's just just looking at this cover you can captures that feel of people just loving what they do and creating music so what can you tell us about big easy busking so big easy busking you're playing as a new orleans musician street musician and you're trying to collect the most tips the more tips you collect um, you know, the more famous and winner you'll be. Um, so you are learning songs and spending energy from your musicians and playing them on the on on the street cards that they have, and it's just balancing your your energy for your musicians and making sure that you're going. It has a little bit of air control, so you want to have the most musicians playing and the most energy to get the most money and nice. end up winning the tips. Uh, so it, there's a balance of it, and as it grounds go more locations come up so it's just it's fun like there is a spotify list that you can listen to oh that's cool playlist that you can listen to and like when I, i've played it we listen to it we just have it playing what well, makes sense and it just it's in the music. mood and it's yeah. just so bright and beautiful fun um Any, anything that helps with the immersion yes it's a very it's a very immersive situation and it's very enjoyable quick to learn quick to play like i've played with people who are heavy gamers and some that aren't and they pick it up right up and they love it yeah that's one of the things I've always loved about the Weird Giraffe label is that a lot of the games are. They're quick to learn. They're quick to play. It's nothing you're going to sit there and play. You know, you could play over and over yeah. and over again, which is great, but you don't have to if you don't want to. It's that you're not be stuck at a table playing one game for three, four hours. And I love those games as well. Yeah. But sometimes you just want something. You just want to hang out with friends, have conversation, hang out, be able to chit-chat, and not really be paying so much attention to the rules. that you're not talking to each other and all that. So these are great games for that. The rules are very quick. Um... But it can get thinky because you're trying to be like, okay, what's the best allocation of my my musician's energy? Yeah. Because you, you know, like if everybody's going for the same one, you might not, you might want to have one there so you get at least a tiny bit of money, but you might want to go somewhere else. Absolutely. It's because, you know, what's the point of everybody going for the same one? So you got to think, you've got to process a little bit, but it's still very quick to learn. Yeah. So that learning experience is, is easy and you can just jump straight into enjoying the game. Awesome, fantastic. Is there anything else you got going on that you'd like people to know about while they're here? Yes, our other game that we're showcasing here is uh, Studies and Sorceries, and you're in a college learning sorcery, and you're earning credits. And this one's also, it's probably, or is it my favorite of all these three? (laughs) Um, Just the art is kind of like creepy and like, 
you know, um, it's fine. So you're you're digging graves to try to get um, resources to build projects so you can get credit, and it has a little bit of like engine building a little bit because some of the parts give you like things like trigger and a certain moon for a certain week of the month. So you could use that, and then like if oh if you do this type of action, then you get to draw a card. Oh, that's cool. And they have like. Um, there's an expansion that has like uh, more project cards, but it also has staff members that change things a little bit. And it, there's a beautiful mat that goes with it that I just, everybody that's outside, I'm like, just get the mat. Just get the mat, yeah. And it just makes such a difference in like the aesthetics of the gameplay and like where everything goes. Cause it's, it's mostly cards, um, but again, it's very easy to learn. And then you're like, okay, well what project card do I want to complete? Cause what's going to give me the most points? Or yeah. what's going to, you know, like, Oh, I need to dig because then the cards have a, a coin cost on them that you got to spend to buy project cards. So everything's interconnected, and you got to pick wisely what you're going to do. Oh, very cool, very good. I like that kind. Yeah. I like that aspect of it. And I think we just coined. I think for for the t-shirt designers <laughs> out there, we've got a new board game t-shirt idea for you. Just get the mat. That's what the t-shirt. <laughs> that's all the t-shirt yes. should say. Just get the mat, and gamers will know what it is. <laughs> yes. Just get the mat and show it to. Them. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's it. It's fantastic. It's what you need. Uh, I, that's my thing. That's my that's my kryptonite on the Kickstarter oh, campaign. Yes. If there's a neoprene mat, I'm getting it. I don't need it, but I want it. Yep. So, but no, you've got a lot of stuff going on here in the booth. This is fantastic. I know when I stopped by to do the interview, there were a lot of people here taking yes, a look at the right. games, which is it's fantastic. I love when a when a publisher. I don't even really consider Weird Giraffe a small publisher anymore. I mean, they're no, smaller than it, some of the big guys, but but you know, I, I met Nick and Carla when they were you know really tiny publisher, brand new on the block, and and to see where they've come in, in the, this you know such a short time really. Yes is phenomenal to watch and, and it, it's great and, and you know I was telling you before like I've got a special place in my heart for Weird Giraffe I, my very first review ever as the Chubby Meeple was Super Hack Override a tiny little <laughs> what 20 cards yeah, and there are not like many cards in it at all just a deck of cards but uh, it was the very first review I ever did uh, and so to just I love watching their stuff grow and see them on Kickstarter and all the stuff they're doing with when they're doing this Carla's doing the the um, Galactic Raptor yep. with Daniel Newman and I, I think that's fantastic so yeah. I love watching them continue to grow and, and, and flourish and she there. has like a few good stuff like, coming down like she has um, uh, Explosion in the Laboratory it's hitting Kickstarter soon-ish I'm not too exactly sure the date but it's hitting it's you know it's what she calls the prequel to Fire in the Library. Oh, nice. You're in the laboratory that's next to the library. So when it explodes, <laughs> the library catches fire. And I love Fire in the Library. That and game that, is really good. I believe we have, what, three copies left? Oh, really? And we're out. Oh. Three, yeah. Yep, yeah. Three copies and we're out. <laughs> um, but she hopes to reprint it. Yeah. Um, and update some cards and stuff like that. So it's coming. That So that's on the pipe. Uh, Tumble Town. We have about, what, four copies left? Oh, wow. And we're out. She has an expansion for that that she's going to kickstart it with a reprint. Oh, nice. And she's already working on a second expansion. So oh. she has all these things coming up that is just great. Um, Wicked and Weiss, we're hoping to have it out at, at Gen Con. So please Good. Uh, check us out then because we're hoping to have that out. And yeah, we're absolutely. working on, And Wicked know, and Wise is gorgeous. That's um, the one that it's best Sobo art in Wicked yep, and Wise, best, correct? Yep, and, yeah, and, that, and that game is beautiful. Uh, uh, is the designer of the game. And it's just, it's a trick-taking game with, uh, you play... And like in teams, and usually trick taking games are just one person, and yeah. you're trying to, but you got to work with your partner and, and and still get your goals, and and everybody has like a different role because the dragon, um, you play for the the card suit, but the mouse plays for the card ability. Oh wow! So, and you have to follow the suit. So sometimes you know they let you swap cards with the dragon. Yeah. So if you have something that will benefit your dragon or help you fulfill the goal that you've got, and so. It's just different, and I love the um, the art for it, the little mice. I just, it's I can't wait to actually see the final production copy. Awesome. So, a little teaser: come see Weird Giraffe yeah. at Gen Con in August in Indianapolis. Check out Wicked and Wise. Hopefully, yes. we'll be there. Yes. Um, shipping I, I, permitting. I, yeah, <laughs> shipping permitting. Of course, we all are familiar with that. Um, so, you're here at Origins now. Um, yes. If people want to stop by, check out everything you guys have to offer. What is your booth number? Where can they find you? So, we are booth uh, 1347. Awesome. We are have bright green everywhere. We're wearing bright green shirts. Today I'm wearing a pink one, but I have a green one for tomorrow. I saw your Our little booth. the little floor tiles have the, giraffes on yep. them, which are great. I mean, <laughs> we have green everywhere, so we kind of sit out and we're kind of like by a pole, like by the 1300 sign. 
Yeah. So it's you're, kind of open. Right, you right see under us. The, uh, right under the cool stuff ink. Yep. Not under it, but just behind the cool stuff ink banner hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, and so. you, we're kind of in an open area, so you'll see the green. Yes. Follow the green, and we're here. Awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> and for the folks that are watching this after Origins, where can they find Weird Giraffe Games and everything they have to offer? So we can, you can find us at WeirdGiraffeGames.com, our Instagram account. Um, awesome. We have uh, a social media group, too, and Facebook that they can find us, and we will continue, you know, to showcase our games and, and stay a little bit weird and stay a little bit fun. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate you taking the time today, Chelsea. Enjoy the rest of the con, and until next time, keep gaming, friends.